recently the collegefix.com published an article University of California Santa Barbara teaching assistant says he would assassinate Jesus if he had a time machine. Now the guy who originally tweeted this Timothy Snydecker was more specific in another tweet as to when he would try to assassinate Jesus and that was before his baptism indicating before Jesus began his ministry and accomplished all the things that he accomplished. At first as a Christian when I saw this I'll admit it did kind of make me angry but then I fully realized even if someone could go back in time and try to assassinate Jesus they would never succeed because Jesus never really died until he was ready to voluntarily give his life in God's timing to fulfill God's plan in saving man and redeeming us from our sins. Let me give you some examples of that. Jesus was arrested, yes, but it wasn't the first time that the Jewish leaders tried to arrest him. In John chapter 7, for instance, the Jewish leaders sent soldiers to arrest him, but these soldiers returned back empty-handed, indicating never a man spoke like this man was the reason why in verse 46. There were several times people tried to kill Jesus throughout his life. When he was an infant, Herod tried to, but was not successful, as you see in Matthew chapter 2. In John chapter 8, after Jesus made the statement before Abraham was, I am, indicating that he was God, those people at that time took up stones to stone him, but they were not able to kill him. It was when Jesus was finally arrested in Matthew chapter 26 and verse 53 that he told Peter that he could send at any moment 12 legions of angels and free him from basically Jewish and Roman custody. But he decided at that moment in God's timing to give his life for us. But let's just say for sake of illustration, what if someone could go back in time and assassinate Jesus before he began his ministry? Do you honestly think this world would be a better place? I seriously think that's one of the most absurd things anyone could ever think or believe. Think about, for instance, the value of human life and how Jesus has changed the course of history in regard to that. Think about before Jesus how there were pagan religions all over the world who sacrificed to their gods of human beings, oftentimes babies or maybe even the, the elderly. Think about the notion of how it was common for people to practice cannibalism throughout the world or abandon their children because maybe of some deformity like in Roman culture or they just didn't want to be a parent anymore. Think about how in Roman times how killing people was for fun or as a means of entertainment in the gladiator arenas. The truth is, is when even you see nations today and in the 20th century that has abandoned biblical values and abandoned Jesus altogether, the value of human life, we know, becomes not so valuable, in other words. Consider the impact of many people who have, regardless of their doctrinal views, have claimed in following Jesus of all the good that they've done for this world. Think about the origin of or the lady who revolutionized modern-day nursing, Florence Nightingale. If you read a little bit about her life, her passion and the reason for why she did what she did was in service to God. Think about all the hospitals today. If you see, just for instance, in America, go back and look at their origins. More often than not, it was typically a church that started these hospitals. The truth is, we know as Christians that had Jesus not done the things he'd done, our lives would be a mess. How many Christians honestly would say, yes, my life would be better had I never obeyed the gospel? The truth is, anyone who lives to the full implications or ramifications of unbelief, I mean, if you're still alive, your life is honestly a mess or would be a mess. I would like to think that if you could go back in time, or a skeptic in particular could go back in time, that they would immediately change their ways once they saw Jesus from being a skeptic to a follower of his. But the truth of the matter is, even if they didn't, here's what I know. I know that Jesus loves this guy who tweeted this because I know the very individuals that actually killed Jesus, Jesus loved. Think about when Jesus is hanging on the cross in an excruciating pain. He says the words, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do in Luke chapter 23 and verse 46. And while tweets like this as Christians may frustrate us and may anger us or offend us, the truth is, may it also empower us to love more because that is not only who God is, but that's who or what God wants us to do.